Um, hey guys, this is Tommy, and this is going to be my first video for MobileTechVideos.com. And um, I just want to put this out there. This is my first ever um, sort of tutorial type video. And if I mess up or stutter or if uh, something in the review isn't just quite right, then I'm really sorry. I haven't, I, like, I'm not experienced with doing this. Okay, now i got to put that out of the way. All right, now today I'm going to show you how to install Cognition X2 Beta 4 on your Galaxy S2 for AT&T. First off, I want to say I'm not responsible for any damage to your phone during this process. Proceed with caution. I cannot stress that enough. Next, you need to download your Galaxy S2 drivers and Odin version 1.82 from the description down below. Okay, step two is going to be on the computer, and on there I'm going to show you how to download all the correct files and put them into Odin and get your phone prepared to download Cognition. Alright, uh, I'll meet you guys at the next step. Okay, for step two, we are going to make two folders, um, one named Cognition and the other Kernel. Um, you can name them whatever you want, but I would suggest making two folders. And the first folder, uh, we're going to have Cognition X2 Beta, the zip file you download from the link in the description. And in the other, you're going to have the dd underscore 172011.tar file. This is also going to be in the description. Okay, so once you've got to the Cognition download, you just click download right here, you go to your desktop, you find your Cognition folder, and save. Um, I've, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, this is the second download, this is the tar file, also known as the kernel, that you need to put into your kernel folder. I've also already downloaded mine, and that's all I need to do. So I'm going to exit out of the browser now. Okay, now um, you need to plug your phone in through USB right here. Now you need to connect the USB or mount the storage to the computer. Okay, now open the open your phone with the file viewer and um, drag your Cognition Beta file that you downloaded onto your SD card for the phone. Let it transfer real quick. I'll speed it up for you. Alright, now that it is done downloading, cancel out of both folders, and now we're going to open Odin and begin flashing the kernel. Okay, before you do this step, you need to make sure that your phone is on stock already before you do this. Okay, mine is already on stock, so I'm going to turn the phone off. Make sure it's turned off unplug it and wait okay now that the phone is turned off the way you put it into download mode is volume down volume up plus USB plug-in and wait and now it says a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key. Otherwise, press the volume down key to cancel. I'm going to continue. Now, a COM port should come up on the computer. It's right there. And now you need to make sure repartition is unchecked, auto reboot, and reset time are both checked. Okay, now first we need to flash the kernel. 
and you need to do this by hitting the PDA section and then browsing out to the kernel folder and do the .tar file. Once you've got that in, you hit start, let it flash, a blue line should go through the phone. Okay, all right, the phone should be rebooting right now. Hold on. Let me do a quick battery pull. All right, now to get into recovery, you do volume up, volume down, power. Hold it until the screen turns on. Let go. And it should boot into recovery mode where we will install cognition. All right, there it is. Okay, you need to go in, you need to scroll down to install zip from SD card and hit home and then hit choose zip from SD card and then find cognition x2 beta 4 dot zip hit home again go up to yes install and now we will wait for the phone to install okay it's installing right now All right. Thank you for using Cognition X2 Beta. If you like it, please consider donating or checking out the ads on the download page. Okay, now we're going to go back by hitting the power button and then home to reboot. Now it should reboot into Android. Um, this yellow triangle will exist if you do not use a USB jig to reset, reset the binary counter of how many firmwares you flash. You can use this uh, USB jig that you can buy from mobiletechvideos.com, but for this video I'm not going to be using this. Okay, here's the new boot screen, the Galaxy S2 and the Light Up S. This usually takes a while on the first boot, so don't don't be afraid if it takes up to a minute. Okay, we are now into cognition, and it looks exactly like stock, but this time you have super user access and it removed a few widgets and you now have complete access to tethering and see super user right here and this is you can the phone is now rooted also so if you want to use like uh, this screenshot app for instance hold on let me remove this real quick Yeah. Okay, forget it. All right, now when I open the screenshot up, I will get prompted with super user request and just tick remember and hit allow. And now the phone is rooted and also you have access to tethering USB or mobile hotspot without having to go through AT&T and set up a new data plan and this is all free and it works off your data plan I just got a new email okay alright um, that pretty much concludes this video and uh, I hope to see you again on mobiletechvideos.com Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and maybe donate if you're in the mood. Alright, um, talk to you guys later. Bye.